Well, here in the United States, it's all about big egos being macho here, you know. Unlike in Europe where people tend to be a bit more humble. But here in the United States, you know, it's a lot of insecure people here that overcompensate, you know, with this being more macho, being the man out here. Uh, they, they have this big ego, like I said. And it's really unfortunate because, you know, a lot of these new riders, they end up on the big bikes. They, a lot of them start on a bike like this, which is this uh, 2020 MT-09, which is way too much for a new rider. You got people starting on a Kawasaki H2. Uh, it's crazy. I know, I know, right? Super bikes, super sports. And a lot of them get their butt handed to them. And they have a, end up having a real effed up day <laughs> because of that. Because of the egos, you know, they, they don't want to start small on the smaller bike, you know, the, the, the slow bike. Even though the small bikes actually tend to be more fun out here on the street because you can rip the throttle and throw the bikes around. You know, you can't go too fast on the streets because if you do, you end up losing your license and getting arrested and having a real effed up day. You end up in jail with the booty warrior. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you guys the bike that I think everybody should start on. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. For those of you guys who want to get some really awesome gear, I have links to all my gear, like my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, Sadichi jacket, shorty gloves, boots, all my stuff. I always have links in the description and comment section of my videos. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was on my supermoto right now because I could go right up that hill there, have some fun bust some wheelies i don't like doing wheelies on this bike man i mean i like doing power blasts here and there a little power wheelies and stuff but clutch ups i, I don't know man i had more fun on on the, the dirt bike with my supermoto yeah baby busting wheelies but this bike is amazing but this, this bike is way too much power for a new rider man uh let me show you here. Take it off, traction control off. You rip on this bike, man. This thing. I mean, that could that that power could really set a new rider up for an effed up day. <laughs> because they don't have throttle control and they're not ready for it and they just don't have the experience to to tame the power. You know, to understand the power. And uh, that's what, what, you know, like I said, here in America, in, you know, in Europe, they don't play out there. You have to go, like, if you're under a certain age, you actually have to go up the power classes. You got to start small and work your way up, which is really the proper way to do. I, I did that. But the motorcycle, which is considered a motorcycle, by the way, even though I know some of you guys probably will claim otherwise. But actually, I think everybody should start on a scooter. Here in Ohio, I don't know about the other states, but a 100 plus cc scooter is actually technically is considered a motorcycle. And you have to get a motorcycle license like that 175 cc Chinese scooter that I own. I actually own two of them, by the way, and they both crapped out on me. Is uh, I had to get a motorcycle license to ride that. Um, when I first rode it, I actually rode it around without a license, and the cop schooled me real quick. <laughs> he pulled me over because they could tell by your plate uh, if, you, if you have a motorcycle endorsement or not. And he knew right away, and he pulled me over. He, he made me walk at home, even though I jumped on the bike down the road, and I hauled butt home through the park. But I think scooters are great for all riders to start on. Especially if you're getting your temp license and you're going to hold off on getting your motorcycle endorsement right away. You just get a lot of you guys go get a temp license, then go get a super bike, which is crazy. Get a temp license and go get the scooter like I did, 
And uh, what? Uh, and I highly recommend you take the MSF class. Anyhow, but even if you take the MSF class, I think I still think it's great to start on a scooter because the scooter will allow you to focus on riding on the street the fundamentals on riding with the street getting comfortable with traffic without having to shift gears because shifting gears for some people for new riders it could be a uh, you know kind of a difficult task for them to be able to keep up with their you know staying safe on the street and and shifting gears at the same time uh, a scooter, you could just focus only on the traffic and riding with cars with no worrying about shifting. And then, you know, after a while, when you feel comfortable out here on the streets, then go ahead and get the motorcycle. Um, now, I know some of you guys may take issue with that, but I will tell you this, guys. The scooters are actually really fun. It's, to, In my opinion, motorcycles are the best because it's really fun shifting gears. But for new riders, shifting gears is uh you know they see it as being difficult at first you know it's really not difficult it'll come second nature to you but i understand that as a new rider you know that could be a you know a concern and cause anxiety for you so that's why i always tell people start on the the, the scooter and have fun around here ride around with your buddies on scooters man it's fun you know what I'm saying? It, I had a great time on those Chinese scooters until they crapped out. Uh, and I was set to get another scooter. I was going to get a Kimco 300 uh, scooter back in 2000, uh, what was it, 2012. Uh, but I went into the dealership and they had a CBR 250R that was cheaper than the scooter. And so I ended up buying a brand new 2000 leftover 2011 CBR 250R and that started it all and I haven't been back to a scooter since but I'm actually thinking about buying a scooter man I'd love to get a Honda ADV X 750 scooter that's like an adventure scooter like an off-road and street scooter which is pretty cool they don't sell them here though only in Europe but I know some of you guys are gonna be like cycle cruiser man I can't be riding on a little sissy scooter. God, come on, I'm a real man out here. I got, you know what I'm saying? I got to look cool out here. To, you know what I'm saying? For the ladies out here, I got to look good. No, man, don't nobody care what you look like. Don't nobody care about you on your motorcycle. I don't care if you're on a Harley. I most of these women don't care. They hate, a lot of them hate motorcycles, man. Because they think that motorcycle riders are D-bags. <laughs> some of them not all of them but there's only a very small percentage of women that actually like uh, motorcycles and love to see men on motorcycles but for the most part most of these people out here could care less what you ride man a lot of them think the scooters I tell you probably have a better chance to meet the girl on a scooter because they think those are cute you know what I'm saying I had a girl when I had that Chinese scooter she came up to me oh you got your little scooter I see you uh oh I was like uh huh hey Holla, holla at your boy. <laughs> I was like, holla at your boy on the scooter, Chinese scooter. <laughs> so I'm telling you, man, and, and I tell you, my ex and I, like I told you in a previous video, we went down to Key West, man. We rode scooters all day and had a blast. I had a good time, man. Although I think they were like uh, little 50cc or 100cc scooters, man. And we had a blast. The things are fun, man. And for those of you guys that want to commute, those things are good on gas. I mean, you can get like you get like a hundred miles per gallon on those uh, those little scooters. You can zip around here in the neighborhoods, and, and uh, it's fun. And then you know when you feel comfortable out here on the streets, like I said, go ahead and step up to the motorcycle, and you'll you'll already be comfortable with the streets. And then it's just about shifting the gears. Which will eventually come, become second nature to you. So, uh, but we need, in America, we really need to get away from this whole uh, big egos and this macho. And uh, like I said, it's really just insecure people out here that are they're overcompensating. That's what it basically comes down to, you know. Uh, you need to be more humble and start at the bottom work your way up through the power ladder and i tell you enjoy it it's a fun ride up the power ladder and then you'll realize once you get up to the more 
uh, faster bikes like super bikes and stuff like I did you'll realize actually the smaller bikes are more fun out here on the street because uh, you really can't do too you can't go too fast out here on the street for the most part and it's all about bottom and torque man bottom and grunt that's what makes it fun doing the slow speeds man where you can you can rip that throttle and uh, get that bump on the bottom end you know stoplight to stoplight like I'm doing right now you know what I'm saying like see just going stop like it get a little bump like that see I ain't even go that fast but I got me a nice little bump that's that's what makes it fun you know out here on the streets so you need to get over yourself for those you guys are saying uh I'm not riding no scooter that's for pansies psycho crew come on man ride no scooter <laughs> I'm too cool for school, baby. I'm too cool for scooters. <laughs> well, uh, you need to get over yourself. Get over yourself. But anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my All the One Motorcycle channel and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.